Hello everyone, Adam F6B Adventures here. I ride a 2022 Honda Goldwing and I record all of my trips and throw them up on YouTube. If you're into motorcycles, hockey, or any sort of adventure, you're at the right place. Hopefully you guys ride safe and maybe I'll see you guys down the road. See ya. All right, well, let me stop dancing and get on this bike. You guys wanted a video, let's start it. Enjoy the video, guys. So I went searching through my phone trying to delete videos, and look what I found. Another cool video. Any guesses as to where this is at? I'll give you a hint. It's not in Texas, but it's in a state to the left of Texas. Okay, New Mexico. Okay, any idea where we're at in New Mexico? No? Okay, good, me neither. Um, this was in Sierra Blanca, New Mexico. And that was the mountain, Sierra Blanca Peak in New Mexico. It was pretty fun, actually. And look at the map on the right side. That's why I went. It was like a long, twisty road the whole entire way. It was great. It was fun. I had fun. And it was a nice little drive to get there. But whatever. Not too bad. When I schedule these small little, like, one to two day trips, I always find a destination and then find some cool things around it. Um, here, the cool thing around it was the, what was it? The pistachio place in Alamogordo. Here's a picture of it right here. I did that after the fact of going up to the hill, up to the Sierra Blanca peak. Um, the hard part was I actually went to the top and you could see Alamogordo from the top of the hill, from the top of the mountain, not the hill. This is, we're in New Mexico, they have mountains up there. Anyways, you could see Alamogordo from the top. And I was like, oh, it can't be that far. It was kind of hot. I think earlier in this recording, I said it was cold, but it was actually really hot. And um, yeah, I went there and it was a nice little ride to get there, but whatever. I tried to invite my dad to come with me on this trip. And unfortunately, time didn't work for him, so he couldn't go. Uh, but you'll see later is that he actually joined me on the way back from Alamogordo. The story was, I went there in the morning. This is probably one, two o'clock in the afternoon right here where I'm at right now. And I told him, okay, dad, I'm gonna go back to Dallas tomorrow. And he's like, okay, I'll meet you halfway, whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. And the plan for me was to go to Alamogordo and then go to the White Sands National Park and then come back and that's it. You know, it's like, okay, no big deal. I'll meet back up in Roswell, New Mexico and have fun. That was not the case. I ended up the next day, it was super hot that day. I ended up going down to uh, Alamogordo and just kind of getting dehydrated, having a headache, all the fun things. And I said, okay, I called him. I was like, dad, I can't do it. I, I can't make it back to Roswell. It's hot. I'm tired. I got a headache. I can't do it. And he goes, it's okay. Just get a hotel there and you'll be okay. So that's what I did. I got the one nice hotel in Alamogordo. I was talking to the people. They said that uh, the people there in Alamogordo call it Alamogetto because apparently it's ghetto. I don't know, but it wasn't that bad. It was okay. I went there, got a good night's rest, woke up the next morning and I said, okay, my dad called. He goes, hey, I'm coming your way. We'll meet in Roswell. I said, okay, dad, let's meet a little further, like closer to Texas. And he goes, okay, whatever. I ended up being a dummy and I said, oh, White Sands National Park is only, you know, 45 minutes away. Let's just go the other way. So I ended up going west. While he was going west to try to meet up with me, we we're supposed to go west and I was supposed to go east, he was supposed to go west, and then just meet up and then keep going east, back to Dallas. But he finally called and said, hey, where are you going? Looks like you're going west. I'm like, oh yeah, I am, but I'll be there, Dad. I'll be there, no big deal. We ended up meeting in Roswell, New Mexico, and he's like, yeah, let's just go. I'm like, no, Dad, you can't just go. If you're in Roswell, New Mexico, you have to go to the Alien Museum. Look at a picture of us at the Alien Museum. It's like me and all my little brothers right there. Another funny thing is, 
at that place. I think they snuck a picture of us. That's me at work right there. I don't know how they got that with HIPAA violations going on, but that's me at work. All right, back to story time. My dad showed up. Here's a video of him showing up. It's like, oh man. And he was behind this big motorcycle. The guy had his like radio going. And it's like, oh man, I can't really have that on my video, but whatever, no big deal. So here's my dad showing up right now. All right, back to the story. So I'm on my way to Sierra Blanca. Not too bad, I hit a bit of rain. Actually, this is a good part of the story to tell about, to talk about. I get to the top and I go and I say, hey, I just wanna to go to the top. And I was like, it was probably like 60 bucks just to ride the gondola all the way to the top. And it was cool, but whatever. Um, I paid it because that's what I wanted to do. And then they said, oh, you can go zip lining. There were people zip lining at the top and I was like, well, that sounds like fun. And I went back to the bottom and said, hey, how much extra do I need to pay to go zip lining? And like, oh, it's it's like another 50 bucks. I'm like, okay, let's do it. You know, it, that's a pretty penny. But it's like, let's do it. Why not? And what did I do? It. I, I, I got all dressed up, put my harness on, went through the little trial. There was like a good, hey, see if you know how to do 20 feet of zip line. So I did it, no big deal. And then I got this bad news. Here at Ski Apache, uh, we're having a lightning delay. Can't go up to the top of the mountain if there's lightning. So, all dressed up, ready to go. Can't do anything yet. It's so crazy that even they won't let people go on the gondola and they pick people up that are on top in a truck. They don't even let them ride down. They just go pick them up in a truck. So whatever. So I cut my losses and just said, hey, let's go to Alamo Gordo where they have that pistachio. Let's do it. No big deal. So what did I do? Again, I did it. I went to the pistachio. Then I said, okay, where do I want to go? The plan was with dad, I told him, hey, I'll go back to Roswell and I'll meet you there. Or I will, that's where I'm going to camp. That's my place where I'll go and spend the night at a hotel in Roswell, New Mexico. And then I'll leave from Roswell and meet you somewhere in between Roswell and Texas or Dallas, whatever. And that was not the case. It was just, like I said earlier, it was just so hot that I decided to just spend the night in Alamogordo and start the next day again, early in the morning and just go. Um, I think, I don't know if I said this part of the story, but I ended up going further west <laughs> to White Sands National Park. I had to get my mom some sand and I was like, oh, this sounds like fun. So I just went and picked up some sand and went home. Here's the sand. Yeah, that thing was white. So picked up some sand, then went back to Roswell, had fun with my dad. I met him in Roswell, like I said earlier in the video. We did the whole alien tour and that was kind of cool. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of sort of believe in aliens and went home. The funny thing about his bike versus my bike, his bike that he pulls up on is my it was my first ever bike. It was a Honda Shadow 750 with a three and a half gallon fuel tank. And I'm on my Goldwing with a six and a half gallon fuel tank. So there's a little bit of a range difference here, right? And this is us at the gas station filling up. We're over here in Bakersfield, Texas, right dad? Yeah. Going really far. Why? I don't know, but it's par. Um, just got fuel for the eighth time. And the last <laughs> he's got a three gallon tank. Six gallon tank. But it's okay. And we rode the rest of the way home. No funny business, no crazy out of adventure rides. Just a nice chat with my dad for the next six hours at least. We made it home, had dinner. I think I spent the night at his house that night. And then I went home the next day, I think. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, my fun story kind of kind of veered off just a little bit, but it's okay, it's part of the fun. Um, the fun, probably the best part was when I was coming back down, when I was going back down the hill, 
I actually passed a deer. I might have shown it in this video. I don't I don't know exactly. I don't know. I think it was down the hill, not up the hill. Whatever. Or sorry, the mountain. We we verified that it's the mountain, not the hill. Well, yeah. This was kind of during the time when I met my chapter in Dallas, the Texas Rally Cats. I said, hey, I want to go on a long distance motorcycle trip. And a lady by the name of Karen found me on Facebook and said, hey, come join our group. And I was like, oh, okay. And I joined. And like I said in a previous video, Larry and Dave are the ones that kind of sealed the deal. You know, they wanted to have fun. They wanted to go on rides and they couldn't go on this ride. They were thinking about it, but they couldn't go. I think Dave at the time, Dave went on this ride, not this exact ride, but he was in the area beforehand, like a month or a couple weeks beforehand. But I was like, okay, whatever, I'll go by myself. So this is me going by myself. We're almost to the top actually. Just at the top, the weather is totally different compared to like at the bottom, obviously. And uh, here on the mountain versus Alamogordo, it's like, ah, versus, ah, uh, so. Yeah, we're almost there. This is the end of it. But thanks so much for watching and listening to my uh, storytelling. Again, it's a horrible way to tell it because I'm all over the place. But you get the gist. We're at the top. This is the place. I don't. I couldn't find the video, but I get there. And I kind of say like, oh, man, I'm kind of lightheaded at the time of being up there. But it was just so high. And I, I had no sort of like elevation training at all. Like, I try to walk up some steps. I'm like, <sighs> like, oh, man. We went skiing one time in Colorado, and I had that same issue where it's like, oh, man, I'm out of shape. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. That was fun to say. It was fun to make this video, fun to talk about it. See you guys on the next one. We're doing that fun trip this summer to Alaska and California and all that fun stuff. So be ready for a cool adventure. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Look at that place. I might post a picture right here of me with the ski lift. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night. Okay. This is edited on my iPhone, so it kind of sucks. But compared to the iPad videos. But again, have a good night. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. All the fun things. Okay. See you guys down the road. Guys, I just want to end the video by saying this. I know I'm in a slow spot on my vlogging trip videos, but when this summer hits, we're hitting the road back to Texas with my mom, actually, Mama F6B, I guess you can call her. But we're going back to Texas. We're doing a cool little scenic route that way. And then it's on. We're going to California, baby. Woo -woo. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I want to visit California. I don't want to move there, but I want to visit. See what it's all about. We're looking into camping. We're going up to Alaska. We're going to Yosemite. I want to see a little Old Faithful, you know? It's going to be great. You are ready for it. You guys better be ready. Better, you know, get the popcorn, all the stuff ready because the adventures, that's where I got the name, right? Adventures. But we're going to be popping. So, see you guys down the road. F6B Adventures out.